Hello, FGT community. In today's news clip, F-16 fighters expected over Ukraine this summer. Per the Kiev Post, General Arnoon Stallman, commander of Dutch Air Force, anticipates the F-16 fighters will be operational in Ukraine this summer, the Guardian report. Ukrainian officials believe these aircraft will help protect Kharkiv from Russian-corrected aerial bombs, KAVs. During the summertime, everything is falling into place, General Stallman said, speaking in front of two F-16 inside a hangar at the base, where a recent program to train Ukrainian Air Force maintenance instructors had just ended. Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands and Norway have committed to supplying Ukraine with approximately 80 U.S.-made F-16 fighters, or about three squadrons of aircraft. Despite the initial plan, the program faced delays due to delivery and training challenges. Training for both pilots and ground personnel has proven to be a complex process. It's not just the pilots who need training, technicians and maintenancers also require thorough instructions. We're providing comprehensive support training to ensure they efficiently maintain the aircraft, so everything has to come together, Stallman said. Dutch Defense Minister Kaisel Olongren confirmed that the first deliveries are expected this summer. Addressing criticisms over delays, she said, I completely understand the Ukrainians' position. They want to do this as fast as they possibly can. We are doing the project as fast as we can. We are really stretching our capacity. The F-16s are really much more complicated than the systems the Ukrainian Air Force was using so far. You cannot just hop over several steps. You have to take every step of the process, but also we want to deliver them as quickly as possible, she explained. Olegren also mentioned that Ukraine could use the Dutch donated F-16s for defensive purposes inside Russia as long as it complies with the international laws of armed conflict LOAC. Denmark has made similar allowances for its donated jets. We have seen that it's necessary for Ukraine to be able to strike inside Russia. Otherwise, Russia will always have an advantage. Allowing Ukraine to use weapons across the border enhances the efficiency of their military actions, said Oligrin. Ukraine has been eagerly awaiting the arrival of these fighter jets, hoping they will alter the dynamics of war and force Russia to adopt more conservative tactics near the border. The Russians will be forced to change their tactics. We will be able to target their planes and missiles more efficiently, and it will be really difficult for them to keep using KAVs, air bombs, which they need to launch from 50 to 70 kilometers away. Anatoly Karpinsky, an aviation expert and former Ukrainian military pilot, commented to The Guardian, for US, Norwegian, Dutch, Danish, Belgium, and other NATO pilots to master these capabilities after earning their wings as a military pilot or even with experience in previous Western fighter aircraft, this process typically takes two years, according to a former F-16 pilot and international military training instructor on the Kiev Post editorial staff. F-16s are a significant upgrade with Ukrainian current fleet, which includes MiG-29s, Su-24s, Su-25s, Su-27s, and all which are heavily worn and outdated in modern aerial battle space. The F-16s offer a larger combat load and more powerful radar systems, which would help address radar limitations faced by Ukraine during the war. Additionally, F-16s are known for their intuitive controls and displays, making them more pilot-friendly. Do you feel that this might change the tide of war? Tell us what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the FGT community and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when future videos come out as well as when we go live. Thank you for watching and as always, happy spotting.